Yeah, so last Saturday I came up with plans to build a rack for holding firewood. And so basically what I did is just build a frame of 2x4s and I used an 8 foot long and uh, kind of kept them on the end and put a couple of uprights and then I angled it because I want to put a little roof on top to keep it dry I'll probably cut this part off and then um, I decided I'd put a little shelf in here and so I kind of lowered the pieces of wood here crossbars going about a half inch below and then that uh, shelf will sit right in there and uh, and then I'm gonna surround it with uh, cedar fence boards and uh, I'll show you where I where I'm gonna put it here so it's gonna be right close to the family room where the fireplace is and I decided to put it on pavers because I really didn't want to have it sitting in the wood on the in the mud you no know, dirt because in Oregon you get a lot of a lot of rain and a lot of sitting water here so I first I put down some uh, sand leveled it out and I laid these pavers my wife and I did and uh, tell you what that's hard work that's one uh, line of work I really look up to is brick layers and you want to know the other job I look up to and that's a roofer ah dumb dad joke okay so so there's the there's the plywood shelf it's gonna sit right in there I got it fit just perfect so we'll see how it goes from here now I've got it set into place well not in place yet but I'm gonna put uh, some fencing on the back and on the sides and I'll put the shelf in and then I'll put the kind of a core get a roof on to keep the rain out and then we'll set it right in this spot there so kind of a fun project okay so I'm starting to put the boards on now, the fence boards, and um, what I'm doing is I brought it up smooth against the side here, and then I'll have another row of siding here, and um, I'm going back and forth the right side to the left side, and then the middle one, when we get to the middle, that'll be where I make the adjustment on the cut for the center board. Okay, so I'm getting close to finishing up on this project and just show you the back side. I just put fence boards all the way across the back on the sides. And now I'm going to put the uh, shelf in on the top. And then I got to put some uh, roofing down just to keep it dry. I'm pretty much going to keep the front open, maybe put a tarp or something to keep the rain out but let's open the bottom because it's going to sit right here right on those pavers and uh, see what's next okay well I've put the the plywood top on then I'm going to put some asphalt shingles but I can tell right now something I don't like and that is right here comes up there so I'm gonna have to fix that so we'll make it work one way or the other anyway then I gotta do, put some more finish on the sides some more trim pieces on the side looking good I'm working about half hour a night maybe 45 minutes just because I get home so late and the sun's going down earlier now there you go 
Okay, so I uh, I solved the issue of the not so level roof, and I did that by I went down and bought a piece of quarter round molding, and I just kind of wedged it in there. Well, I loosened the screws, and then I wedged it in there, and then I tightened the screws back down, and now it's now it lays flat. So my next thing is to put down the roofing material or the uh, I want to put a drip edge on there and then the roofing and then we'll pretty much be close to being done oh but oh boy you ain't coming in here boy where's my croquet mallet comes in handy for something ready cool Okay, so sorry for the noise, but I have a stump grinders out there grinding down a stump. But the next step is to put on the fascia boards, which I have done. And then I'm going to uh, put the drip edge, which will fit just like so. Nice thing about drip edges is that they cover up a lot of uh, ugly spots. And so I'll put one over here, and I might even put one on this side like so yeah I might do that why not just makes it look a little bit better okay and then after that if I have any roofing felt I'll put it down but I probably won't so I'll probably just put the uh, asphalt shingles down then I'll pretty much be done with the roof and then I'll just have to do whatever I want on the, on the front here I want to kind of cover up this ugliness here Okay, so now I'm doing the roofing. I forgot to do video of it. But anyway, I'm almost done with it. Um, so, I put a uh, starter course, which is about half the, it only can, the first course is only about halfway up. And then you put your first course, and then you cut the next one. On the second course, you cut the first set of shingles down and then, and then you go to the third course and you cut it even further down. I know it makes a lot of sense, but anyway. So now I'm up to this one here, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this one off. And I'm going to measure it like this because I want this straight edge on the edge. Um, and then we'll put probably... Looks like one or two more courses down. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's not going to measure up totally. So on the front of it, um, I'm going to try to tidy this up a bit. So what I'm going to do is kind of box this in a little bit, and then and then I'll put a one by six going all the way down. You know. I'll kind of make it look a little bit nicer. I mean, it's going to be open. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put doors on here or just like attach some sort of a tarp or canvas to keep the firewood dry. And if this is going to be for kindling or for... My wife already has eyes on it for her gardening tools, so I'm not sure what we're going to do up here. But... I'm going to get it started, anyhow. And... Oh. Hey, buddy. Well, I'm pretty much done with it. I threw a coat of stain on there. Got the front and the back and the sides. And I'm not sure how long that stain will last, probably a few years, but I also like when the cedar turns gray, so I'll try to keep it up like this. And now we just got to slide her back in the spot there and fill it up with wood. And uh, not sure what we'll do to keep the rain out on the front. 
This year I might just put a tarp on it. Uh, next year I might throw some doors on there. Anyway. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And there's the finished product. I did put a brace on each side just because I thought it might be a little unstable. And I got all the firewood inside and uh, storage up on top. So, worked out pretty good. And uh, again, thanks for watching.